This is Randy Thompson, and I'm coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Annie. And we're going to work on the leg heels into canters so that Annie gets more comfortable with her canter takeoff. And the leg heel position is a great way to be able to get a horse to pick up the right lead and to balance as they go into a canter. That's right, your reins are too long. You need to, that's it. So keep your right, keep her neck between your reins, especially for the leg yield. So what you'll find is when you get into the leg yield, she'll get you to, she'll start bopping her nose all over the place. And you've got to now, because this is still new to her, it's, you know, less than eight lessons that we've done where we've actually asked her to stay on contact. So she's going to try to avoid your contact simply because she's not sure why it's there. And you're teaching her that your contact is going to be her support system. So think you're supporting her with your rein. Support her neck with your rein. Support her. Very nice. Needs to be more active from behind. Good. Think of a leg yield at the canter now. Yep, if you canter, you're going to think of a little leg yieldy feeling at the canter too. So everything is going to be, because you wanted to focus on the leg yieldy feeling. Can you feel like you're leg yielding her right now? That's right. Keep her neck straight. Bring her nose slightly to the right. Leg yield her to the left, to the outside. Now ask for a canter. Good. Leg yield her to the side, to the outside. Leg yield her out. Push her out. Push her rear end out. Push her out. She's not moving her back end. Good. So when you do the leg yield at the canter, it's going to get her to engage more with her back hind leg. Good. Think leg yield. Push her rear end over. That's it. Good, good. Oops, she's spooking at Randy. Good. Think leg yield. Get her back end way over. Push her against your outside rein and leg softly. Praise her. Get her more active behind. Push her out more behind. Good, good. Do you feel all that helped you with your canter? That's it. It's all right if she breaks gait, and then you just go right back into the leg yieldy feeling. Put her back in the trot, no walking, unless you need to catch your breath. This is a really hard exercise. Most riders can only do three or four minutes of it if you're trying it. Good. Yep, support her with your hands from your leg. Think leg yield. That's right. Leg yield her right there at the trot. Leg yield her. Push her rear end way over. Keep her, support her with your hands. Support her. Push her over. Keep her neck straight. Keep her neck straight. Your outside rein is too long. Leg yield into a canter. Push her against your right rein. Good. Praise her. Leg yield her into a trot. It's all right. She doesn't. She just said she doesn't feel like cantering today. What's happened is we've taken the other horse out of the ring, and this is really hard because you're adding the leg yield feeling to your transition. Leg yield into the canter. Praise her. Good. Leg yield into the trot. Push her against your outside. Slow down your outside rein. Shorter outside rein and leg. Leg yield into the trot. Good. Stretch her. Give her a little stretchy trot. Leg yield her into a stretchy trot. I'm learning how to use a new camera. That's right. Leg yield her into a stretchy trot. Leg yield her into a regular trot. Leg yield her into a canter. Good. Praise her. If and when she breaks gate, you're going to leg yield her into the next gate. Leg yield into the trot. Woohoo! What's that? I think there was a troll over there. Good save. Good leg yield her into the trot. Oh, that's Susan bringing another horse out. That was a pretty big yeehaw there, Trudy. Woohoo! Woo the joys of training level horses. Well, of any horse that can do that. The unexpected happens with horses. You'll notice that all of my riders wear helmets all the time. Good. Leg yielder against something. Yep. And go to this end of the ring. Leg yielder. Leg yielder. Leg yielder more. And this is really going to teach her how to start using her back end. Good. Leg yield her into, uh, think of a trot pirouette. So leg yield her into a trot pirouette. That's it. Think of a leg yield. Think of a leg yield. If she's leg yielding, her nose will be to the outside. That's right. Now you'll notice when she comes down that circle, she drops you in the front, right? 
that your outside rain being too long. That's right, so bigger circle, start a leg yield on a bigger circle and feel when she drops you. So leg yield her to the left. So you can feel your left, your right rein of leg. Leg yield her to the left. That's it, do you feel how you hold her neck different with it? Okay, she said she was leg yielding to the inside. So now you're gonna think you're gonna leg yield her to, uh, let's say we're gonna leg yield her to the outside, all right? So she's gotta be, her nose needs to be in, slow, a shorter inside rein to leg yield her out. There, feel it pick you up? Now leg yield her in. And feel that you've got her on that outside rein. She's gonna say she can't do it because this is really hard. It's a big thinking exercise. Good, leg yield her the other way. Just keep her connected between your rein and leg. She should be leg yielding to a rein and leg. Which one is she on? I shouldn't have to ask. Which rein and leg is she on? You're doing great. Okay, take a walk break. Take a walk break. I mean, I can hardly hear you. Please the wind. Oh, it's hard to hear with the wind. 